buffers. A buffer solution is a solution which resists changes in pH when small quantities of acid or alkali are added. The key thing here is that they resist changes in pH and only small quantities of acid and alkali can be added in order for the pH to stay the same or relatively the same. Buffers are very important in everyday life. Human blood plasma is buffered at a pH of between 7.35 and 7.45. If the pH drops below pH 7.35, this can lead to acidosis. If the pH goes above 7.45, this can lead to alkalosis. If the pH is less than 6.8 or greater than pH 7.8, this can lead to death. Buffers are also used in everyday objects such as shampoos and soaps. This is because skin needs to be slightly acidic to protect it, so it has a pH of 5.5. Soaps and shampoos are usually alkaline, so acidic buffers are added. Common acidic buffers are the boric acid sodium borate buffer system, which is often used in soap. To make an acidic buffer, what we need is a weak acid and a salt of that weak acid. This gives us a pH of less than 7 for our buffer system. For example, we can use ethanoic acid or vinegar um, plus sodium ethanoate, which is the sodium salt of that weak acid. And if we had equal concentrations and equal volumes, we'd have a buffer solution of pH of exactly 4.76. If we want to make an alkaline buffer solution, we need a weak base and a salt of the weak base. This gives us a pH of greater than 7. For example, we could use ammonia and ammonium chloride, the salt of the weak base. If these were again in equal concentrations and volumes, we'd get a buffer solution of exactly pH 9.25. So how do buffers work? The weak acid only partially ionises. So we end up with a large reservoir of the weak acid, which we've called HA. Some of it partially ionises to H plus ions and A minus ions, but we need a large reservoir of the conjugate base, the A minus ions. So what we do is we add a salt of the weak acid, for example, sodium ethanoate because sodium ethanoate is ionic, it fully dissociates into sodium ions and ethanoate ions. We then have a large reservoir of the conjugate base. These two reservoirs remove the added acid and the alkali. For example, ethanoic acid partially dissociates into H plus ions and ethanoate ions. If we add the salt of that weak acid, sodium ethanoate, as it is ionic, this fully ionises into sodium ions and ethanoate ions. We then have a large reservoir of ethanoic acid and a large reservoir of the ethanoate ions. If we add acid to this buffer system, this is removed by the conjugate base. The concentration of the H plus ions increase, the H plus ions react with the conjugate base ions, and the equilibrium shifts to the left, removing most of the added H plus ions. If we add alkali to the buffer system, this is removed by the weak acid. The concentration of the hydroxide ions increases. The H plus ions from the weak acid react with this to make water. And the weak acid dissociates more to restore the H plus ions. So the equilibrium shifts to the right. So how do we calculate the pH of a buffer solution? Let's take the generic term HA is in equilibrium with H plus plus A minus ions. 
We already know that Ka, the acid dissociation constant for this, is equal to the concentration of the H plus ions times the concentration of the conjugate base ions divided by the concentration of the acid, the weak acid. Rearranging this equation gives us the concentration of the H plus ions. For weak acids, we use the approximation of H plus ions is approximately equal to the concentration of the A minus ions. But for buffer solutions, this is not the case because the concentration of the H plus ions is not equal to the concentration of the A minus, the conjugate base ions. Once we've got our rearranged equation, we can then do the pH is the negative log of the concentration of the H plus ions. The pH of a buffer solution depends on the Ka or the pKa of the weak acid and the ratio of the concentrations of the weak acid and its conjugate base. If the concentration of the acid and the concentration of the conjugate base are the same, the pH of the buffer is equal to the pKa of the weak acid. And the operating pH is usually over two pH units. For example, if we have the ethanoic acid buffer system, pKa of ethanoic acid is 4.76. So therefore, if we had equal concentrations of ethanoic acid and sodium ethanoate in equal volumes, we'd have a pH range between 3.76 and 5.76 with the pH of the buffer, of that buffer being 4.76. Let's look at a worked example. What is the pH of a buffer solution that contains 0.1 moles per dm cubed of ethanoic acid and 0.2 moles per dm cubed of sodium ethanoate? Ka of ethanoic acid is 1.74 times 10 to the minus 5 moles per dm cubed. Pause the video a minute and see if you can calculate this. From our equation, we know the concentration of the H plus ions equals the Ka times the concentration of the ethanoic acid divided by the concentration of the ethanoate ions. Ka is 1.74 times 10 to the minus 5. We know the concentration of the acid is 0.1 mole per dm cubed and the concentration of the salt, which is the conjugate base, is 0.2 moles per dm cubed. So multiplying these all together gives us a concentration of H plus ions of 8.70 times 10 to the minus 6. We take the negative log of that, we end up with a pH. And the pH of this buffer system at this concentration is 5.06. Let's try a harder one now. We'll have different volumes this time and different concentrations. If 150 mL of 0.5 moles per dm cubed of methanoic acid is added to 100 cm cubed of 0.5 moles per dm cubed sodium methanoate, what is the pH of the buffer solution formed? Ka of methanoic acid is 1.78 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per dm cubed. Let's pause the video for a minute and see if you can work that out. The number of moles of methanoic acid is 150 ml times the concentration, which is 0.5, divided by 1,000. So we have 0.0750 moles of methanoic acid. The number of moles of the methanoate ion is 100 times 0.5 over 1,000 which equals 0.05 moles. The total volume of the solution is 150 mils plus 100 mils, so we have a total volume of 250 mils. So the concentration of the methanoic acid is the moles times 1,000 over 250, 
which is 0.3 moles per dm cubed. The concentration of the conjugate base is 0.05 times 1000 over 250, which is 0.200 moles per dm cubed. Now we have our concentration of our acid and our conjugate base, we can pop that back into the equation. We know Ka, we know the concentrations, so rearranging that equation, giving the concentration of the H plus ions is 1.78 times 10 to the minus 4 times 0.3 over 0.2 gives us a concentration of H plus ions of 2.67 times 10 to the minus 4. Taking the negative log of that gives us a pH of this buffer, buffer system of 3.57. A common exam question is a partial neutralisation buffer calculation. In this example, 100 centimetres cubed of 0.5 moles per dm cubed sodium hydroxide is added to 100 mils of 1.5 molar methanoic acid. In this situation, what is the pH of the buffer solution formed? Ka of methanoic acid is 1.78 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per dm cubed. Now this is more difficult because the sodium hydroxide will react with the methanoic acid so we won't have our full 1.5 moles per dm cubed methanoic acid because some of it would have reacted and neutralised the, with the sodium hydroxide. Let's pause the video a minute and let you have a think about that. So the first thing to tackle is work out how many moles of sodium hydroxide have reacted. We've got 100 mils of 0.5 molar um, in 1,000. So we've 0.05 moles of sodium hydroxide have been added. Now we look at the equation, and it's a one-to-one -one reaction. So one mole of sodium hydroxide reacts with one mole of methanoic acid to make one mole of sodium methanoate and one mole of water. So if 0.05 moles of sodium hydroxide reacts it will form 0.05 moles of sodium methanoate, which will then form, because it fully ionises, because it's an ionic substance, 0.05 moles of our methanoate ion, our conjugate base. That's not all we've got to do. We've now got to work out how much of the sodium hydroxide now has reacted with the acid. We've got 100 mils of a 1.5 moles per dm cubed methanoic acid solution. So we divide that by 1,000, gives us 0.15 moles of methanoic acid added initially. But we've now calculated that 0.05 moles of that will react with the sodium hydroxide. So how much acid is now left in solution after it's been neutralised? We have 0.15 minus 0.05 equals 0.1 moles of methanoic acid left. Our total volume is 100 mils plus 100 mils, so we have 200 mils of the total solution. Now what we've got to do is calculate the concentration of the methanoic acid and the methanoate ions. So the methanoic acid concentration is 0.1 times 1,000 over 200, which is 0.5 moles per dm cubed. And the methanoate ions is 0.05 times 1,000 over 200, which equals 0.25 moles per dm cubed. So the concentration of the H plus ions is 1.78 times 10 to the minus 4, which is our Ka, times 0.5 divided by 0.25 which equals 3.56 times 10 to the minus 4. Take the negative log of that and we've got a pH of 3.45. Hope this helps. For more videos, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.